Greetings, unsettled souls. Welcome to part three out of five massive Fukushima update here. How about this? It's from The Guardian. Engineering firm to proceed with rollout after UK government agrees to match consortium's investment. You know, I've put hours of my life into, and I have proved it, there's no debate there, you're either agreeing with it or you're wrong, I have proven, using respectable, reputable scientists who are not part of the money supply to lie or to fudge data or to hide the raw data that they're compiling, or by using only certain segments of time to study to prove a point which isn't a point that's proven when you look at the whole picture, they use all of those lies. They'll take a graph, for instance, and they'll take a little section of it that shows a warming trend and say that man warmed the planet over this period. They won't tell you that it was warmer many, many times long before man was even out of caves. We saw these kinds of fluxes during the dinosaurs before the meteors hit the earth. There were times that it was freezing, times that it was warm, warm spells, cold spells. The environment has always done exactly what it's doing now, and it will continue to do so. And it's probably going to get worse, because uh, Fukushima not only changed the axis of the Earth and altered its rotation a bit when it hit due to the severity of it, which isn't... Ex Some people have said it's noticeable with weather patterns. Other people have said that it wasn't that much of a shift. But we also know that the magnetic poles are shifting. We've known that for a while. Now, they could choose to shift you know, overnight if they wanted to, or it could take some time. It's usually not an event that's going to kill everyone. But it drastically changes the weather, which is why we're seeing the, the seasons coming later. It's just as cold as it's always been. It's just cold later. It was warmer later. Now it's cold. It used to get... Uh, cold in Canton, Ohio, when I was growing up younger, it was like, I don't know, usually around uh, mid-September, end of October, you could get snow. Now that sometimes it's coming a little bit later, but it's also lasting well into May or June. All of these things work to prove that man-made global warming is in fact a lie. And the reason it matters isn't just because they're stealing your money with the scam and with the lie, but because they're using it to open up more nuclear power plants, saying that it's the answer to global warming. Well, first of all, we've proven that man-made global warming is not happening. However, if that message doesn't get out, they're using these nuclear catastrophes waiting to happen as the solution to global warming. And they've got a, a great number of people stupid enough to believe that the man is actually warming the planet. That human activity is causing the planet to increase its temperature. But because they don't look at even easy to find data, which shows that that's simply not the case. Rolls-Royce will move ahead with a multi-billion pound plan to roll out a new breed of mini nuclear reactors after securing more than 450 million from the government and investors. Yeah, because they're uninsurable. Why? Because when they go bad, they're a disaster. Now, this is a new breed, and I'm, I'm sure I'm going to get conversations on the comment line. But I want to know how routine releases aren't still going to be as deadly from this kind of power plant as they are from every other kind that we have. For one thing, because even when nuclear power plants run as they're supposed to, the venting has to happen in order to keep the plant from exploding, and that creates a massive risk, well, a massive spike, you can see it, in cancer and heart disease, among those who live close to nuclear power plants. I'd love to know what this is going to do to change that. But listen, the engineering firm will set up a venture focused on developing small modular nuclear reactors, or SMRs, in partnership with the investors BNF Resources. These are people you never want to donate for with or be part of a mutual fund with because it takes their money away. If you don't, we can stop them. And the U.S. generator, Exelon Generation, with a joint investment of $195 million in to fund the plans over the next three years. 
The government will match the consortium's investment, which is set to receive a second phase top up fifty million from Rolls Royce, with two hundred and ten million to help roll out the many nuclear reactors. Part of the Green Ten Point Plan, they're we're opening up cancerous monstrosities to protect you from global warming. It says about a fifth of the UK electricity is generated by 13 nuclear reactors, but more than half of the country's 7.8 gigawatts of nuclear capacity is due to retire by 2025. Good! People in the UK, what the hell is wrong with you? Why would you let this continue? Ultimately, the consortium hopes to build on an initial run of five SMRs, the first of which will go online by 2031 to create a multi-billion pound stable of 16 of these monstrosities around the country. They're literally telling you that for something that can be a provable lie, they are going to open these in great numbers. And we don't, where are the people in the streets? Black lives matter! <laughs> Do they matter when they get cancer? Because these nuclear monstrosities do that. Do black lives matter when they get cancer? How about white lives? Do any lives matter when they get cancer at all? Because we're not marching for that. Oh, we'll pretend that there's some... It's systemic racism when there isn't. But when there is a real tangible problem, something that does kill people, there is nobody on the streets. And I just don't know why that is. It, it makes me sick to my stomach. I'll be dead honest. There's two more sections to go, but I'm, I'm just going to close it with that. It makes me sick. I don't know what is wrong with people. But don't tell me Black Lives Matter if you aren't out there preventing this from giving black lives cancer. Don't tell me that you're pro-life if you're not worried about the lives that are already here. I'm sick of it.